welcome to this video and in this video I want to have a look how the hill sphere allows moons to have moons and then those moons can then also have moons as well so here we've got an expression for the hill radius and then showing that the actual moon has to have an orbit within the hill radius so what is the hill radius or the hill sphere? Well, it's a distance or a sphere around an astronomical object in which it would, dom it would gravitationally dominate the attraction of smaller objects. So for example, if we had the Earth, then the moon would have to have an orbit with inside the hill sphere. So the moon is gravitationally bound to the Earth, and that happens with all moons, basically, that they have to be within this hill sphere to be on an orbit and be gravitationally bound to it essentially if it's outside the hill sphere it's not going to be gravitationally bound by it or influenced by it it would be influenced by a much larger mass for example the sun so um, an example here we would have the earth and the moon the equation for the hill radius is at the top there and it depends on the semi-major axis which is the distance between the two objects the mass of the larger object the earth here and the mass of the smaller object which would be the moon okay so if the smaller second mass in this case here the moon was smaller then the hill sphere would be smaller because the gravitational attraction of the earth would be greater so actually the moon wouldn't have that much of an influence on um, smaller objects. So if it's smaller, the hill sphere is smaller. If the moon mass was larger, then the hill sphere would be larger. So it scales with the mass of that second object, as well as the, the larger mass. If Earth was much more massive, then it would shrink the hill sphere because it would have more of an influence on it. As the hill sphere, or as the distance between the two objects decreases, then the hill sphere also shrinks as well. Because if it's closer to the Earth, then the Earth is going to be have more of an influence on a smaller object that's close to the moon. So probably worth noting what a moon actually is at this point. So a moon is an object that is orbiting a planet, and that planet is then orbiting a star. Now you can get smaller objects that are this, the same size as the moon orbiting the sun or a star, but it wouldn't be a planet, it would be an asteroid or a minor planet. So a moon has to orbit a planet. So that's worth pointing out at this point here. Now a moon itself will also have a hill sphere. So the planet has a hill sphere, the moon has a hill sphere, a star has a hill sphere, all these objects will have some hill sphere. But because the moon is quite small in comparison to the Earth, its hill sphere is relatively small. So this moon or our moon here has a hill sphere around it where an object will be gravitationally bound to it. So a smaller object, maybe a small moon, could orbit if it was inside the hill sphere of that moon. So then we have a moon with a moon. Now it would be fairly close but it's still possible. But could that moon, or that moon moon, also have a moon? So we've got a small moon orbiting a moon, but then that second moon will also have its own hill sphere. Now that hill sphere will be very small, and obviously it scales down the smaller you get. But there is a possibility that that second moon could also have its own moon. Now, again, it all depends on their sizes, their distances, things like that, but it is potentially possible. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoy, you can check out some of the other videos.